Welcome to Shift by Bacardi. Hello everyone, welcome back. I'm Mike Norbury and this is my shift. We're here in beautiful Victoria, BC. Luckily for us, it stays lighter way later now. So I decided to do my nightcap portion in my backyard. I'm gonna make you guys a daiquiri, but not just any daiquiri. I'm gonna make you a clarified kiwi daiquiri. I'd like to give a shout out to Bacardi for thinking of me of these videos. And that's exactly what I'm gonna use at the base of this cocktail, is Bacardi Superior Rum, as it has a rich, diverse history and is one of the original cocktailing rums. To start, I'm gonna use these Kiwi Sumac Bitters. I like to do the bittering agents and the cheaper ingredients first. So I'll do a good half vial there, as this is gonna be a large component of the flavor in this cocktail. Next up, I'm gonna do three quarters of an ounce of 1.5 to 1 simple syrup. I like to do 1.5 to 1 in order to achieve a little bit more body. That looks just like water, right? But no, it's um, Dave Arnold's lime acid solution that I found in the book Liquid Intelligence. This is uh, four grams citric acid in the powder form, two grams malic acid in the powder form, and 94 grams of filtered water. When there is a big lime shortage in the States, people got together and created these acid solutions in order to balance cocktails in place of the citrus, which I think was a really cool idea. So I'm gonna do three quarters of an ounce in the drink. It's a little bit lighter than citrus, obviously, because it's a water solution, there's no, uh, no body, and that's why I did the 1.5 to 1 simple syrup. And of course, the star of the show, Bacardi Superior. We're gonna do two full ounces in the drink. And now I'm gonna give this guy a shake. These are bigger uh, ice cube tray ice. So I'm gonna have to give it a bit more of a bigger shake. I find sometimes with the lime acid solution, it can be a little bit more tart than actual lime juice. That's why I did the higher ratio of sugar, but it ended up balancing out perfectly. Let's strain this guy off and get it garnished. Woo, look at those wash lines. And last but not least, a dehydrated lime. My friend did this in her oven. Super easy, just chop up some limes, put them in your oven on lower heat, let it sit and it will dehydrate beautifully just like that. And there you have it, a clarified kiwi daiquiri. Craziest experience I ever had serving a guest. I was 21 years old, I was working at a sports bar in the Couch and Valley, and a gentleman came in, 6'4", 240, tank top, tucked into his blue jeans, work boots, slick back black hair, and a George Peros mustache. If you don't know who that is, give it a Google. He's a Canadian hockey player, and you'll understand what I mean immediately. He walks in, sits down, and I thought, is this where it ends? He didn't look friendly. He looked like, not bodybuilder jacked, but I've worked really hard my entire life kind of jack, which is a little bit more intimidating in my opinion. Anyways, he sat down, I bravely went over, served him, he liked rum. I served him some Bacardi and Cokes, a little bit quiet, a little bit reserved, and he left. Comes back the next day, and the next day, and the next day, for about four days in a row, and uh, really opened up, warmed up, drank his Bacardis and Coke, and uh, I told him to come back for karaoke night. Now, karaoke in a small town brings out all sorts of characters. Anyways, he seemed intrigued as he was kind of in the valley for work, staying in a hotel, so this was his form of entertainment. Comes in, karaoke, he sings, everyone else sings, everyone's laughing, it's pretty ridiculous, and they ask me to sing him specifically. So I get up, 2010 I believe it was, so I was kind of in a 90s kick, and I sang the song Lightning Crashes by Live. I, uh, you know, I had practiced singing in the shower, I had practiced singing in my car, I uh, belted it out, and I nailed it. I look over in the corner, and Steve, the intimidating George, George Peros mustache man, was in tears. And he walked up to me and he said, thank you so much, that song actually means a lot to me, has a deeper meaning, and you did it beautifully. And now this giant, this muscular, huge man is in tears and thanking me for singing the song. That was a cr pretty crazy experience, and uh, I just wanted everyone to remember that as this daiquiri is clear, and as that man was actually a big sweetheart, you know, never judge a book by its cover, and always remember where you came from. I'm Mike Norbury, thank you for watching my shift. Cheers.